Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the Dollar Tree, picked up a few things that I'm going to be using for our homeschool this year. Thought I would show you. So let's get started. The first two things I have to show you are a United States map. I like this one because it's got city still on it. It also has, um, so I like this one. It's got the different time zones along with um, the name. It has the longitude, latitude, or degrees or whatever they're called I think it's longitude latitude and it is a pretty decent map I have to say this is probably one of my favorites that I have found and it was only at the Dollar Tree so anyway we got this one it's a pretty good size then there's little stuff there I also have an inflatable globe so we have those two um, my my seven-year-old is starting to pick up multiplication and this was just easier than going on dadsworksheets.com which is a free resource dadsworksheets.com you can print out tons of stuff like this um, however I have a lot of trouble with it timing out on me and so it takes forever to print um, it can end up being a couple day job to get all of these um, so for $1, it was so worth not the hassle of trying to work with that. So I have that for my first grader. I got this, or I guess he's going to be second grade um, by the time he starts that. I got this for my first grader. Um, I really love these things to pick out um, number recognition, and I'm also hoping to use it with my three-year-old, kind of working with him um, as we learn numbers, which is this deck here. This is from the Dollar Tree. That's how much it was. So um, I love color by number and they're harder to find. I know I can print them out online again, if, but if I can find a resource like this, I absolutely love it. So these are just different ways I do number recognition and things like that. So we have that one. And then this is going to be my curriculum, for lack of a better word, for my three-year-old. Um, he loves dinosaurs, as you will see in a few minutes. Um, so I got these. They are a 25-piece little dinosaur set. You do not have to do what I'm going to do here. You can use spoons or anything. But I got these to do this. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a number laid out, and he has to put nine of them here. And again, he's only three. I don't really expect um, perfection. I don't expect this is going to, you know, go amazing, um, but we're just going to start off with some simple, simple numbers and basically just kind of build up and then he can play with them. The idea here is to give him some school since he's always begging for it, since we're all doing it. And these are just simple things that I can do. So that's, um, I bought these. Um, there is a huge stack of them. This is a stack of 200 for a dollar, and the quality, I would say, is just as good as what you're going to find at Walmart, and you get 200 for them. Um, so I got that to do that with. Um, he loves Paw Patrol, has never seen an episode, um, but who doesn't love dogs, right? So I have this one for him, and it'll just be a coloring thing. Again, he loves dinosaurs, and he loves writing. So we'll just put his name in here, maybe use two lines or something, and he can practice doing that. So we have another dinosaur. I was trying to find something with numbers in it. Again, I can print something out, and I will, and that's what this is for. Um, but if I can find something that I want that's really simple, I'm going to pick it up. So we have this one, and it's, and you know, Trace number one. And we'll probably, I'll take this out and put it in here. And we'll just do this for a few weeks. And that that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, so that's what that's going to be. This is going to be for pages like that that I can erase and rewrite and um, work all that magic with. Um, and then I got some of these foam puzzles. He's still learning how to fit puzzle pieces within the shapes. Not too good at it, so I thought that would be great practice. And then they had, again, a number one. The other thing I like to do with these, by the way, is can you hand me the green three? Can you hand me the yellow two? Can you hand me the red six? 
can you put the zero in the blue zero spot, you know? And that's kind of how we work with colors. Again, what I will also do is let's pick up Legos. It's time to pick up Legos. Can you find me red, five red Legos to pick up and put away? Can you find me three blue Legos to pick up and put away? And that's how we do colors. It's very simple. Um, I don't have any program to teach. I don't have anything like that. If I get ambitious enough, again, he's three, but he's the youngest of five. And after a while, I, I, I swear by this, I'm the oldest of nine. I was homeschooled. I swear by this. When you have everybody working together, they tend to um, learn from each other and build off of each other. And it's not uncommon for the younger kids to be ready to start school. However, I do follow a Charlotte Mason principle, which this would be considered like twaddle type stuff. And you don't, and you don't do formal lessons until the age of seven. Um, but he's really wanting to do it. He's begging to do it. Again, I'm not going to make a huge deal out of this. This is going to be in a little tote. And if he wants to do school, he can pull it out. I'll do a little bit of time with him because I think that's actually the biggest thing is he just wants the, the time with mommy that everybody else is getting. I totally understand. And so that's really what we're going to be working on. But um, the purpose of this video is just to kind of show what I found at the Dollar Tree and kind of give anybody out there some ideas. This was um, less than $15 for all of this. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do um, in your homeschool uh, for a free and inexpensive curriculum. You don't have to spend um, much money at all. So that's just what we're going to be doing and I hope this video is helpful to some of you out there looking for inexpensive and um, simple stuff to do with your preschooler, kindergartner, and so forth. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.